Welcome to Forensic Detectives. I am Dr. Cuz, and today we are presenting our O2 box. It's our oxygen analyzer, zero to one hundred percent in volume of oxygen. Look at the side profile, the back profile, and the front, folks. As you could see, it's a no frills oxygen detector, full range up to 100%, and it has a T-piece here, folks. The T-piece is very important. It makes this unit very versatile. I'll explain how that happens. Now, the primary application for this unit was for Dr. Cars to provide an affordable scuba oxygen analyzer on the market. All you do is pop on the dome on one side, on one side of the analyzer, just like that, and then you could test your oxygen gas cylinders for diving, just bang. It fits snugly with a rubberized dome and you could take a measurement. The dome has a very small hole at the end that we've impinged and it regulates, that small hole regulates the airflow and pressure that goes onto the sensor, folks. This unit has a made in Germany Honeywell oxygen sensor. We have not skimped on the oxygen sensor. And the oxygen sensor, folks, as you well know, if you're in the market looking for an oxygen analyzer, it's the most critical component of your oxygen analyzer. It's the oxygen sensor. So when you're looking and when you're shopping around, always ask, where is the sensor from? What brand is the sensor? And where was it made? Very, very important indeed. Now. This little guy takes three AAA batteries and we could check it out over there. It's all in the back. He comes with the three AAA batteries, in fact, in a nice little case. Now, this is the case he comes with. It's a waterproof case, as you can see. And we, with the case, have waterproof labels. It doesn't have a manual, but it is on the back. The manual is a, the back sticker on the case because when you're in a boat situation, you're going scuba diving, you don't want a paper flopping around and it's going to get wet and damaged. So that's why we have a waterproof label. And I would like to add the nice thing about this unit, which Dr. Cuz is proud of, it's a one button calibration. So if the O2 levels waver because of temperature and humidity, if it goes down to 20.7, before you start, you want that to read 20.9 as it is now. And all it is is a one, two button calibration to fresh air and you're good to go, folks. You're good to go. There isn't any more complicated things like that. It's a very, very simple menu and that's the way Dr. Cos likes his products. Now, furthermore, this is very versatile. As I have said, you can use it to test to test different oxygen sources coming from an oxygen machine or oxygen tank or concentrator. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it does also come with a coupler. The coupler goes onto the T-piece very snugly indeed. And then you have this tube inlet that you could pop in various places to undertake your testing. So the air will come in, the sensor will sense the air in the T-piece and then it will flow out. So you have an inline sampling system of oxygen, quite nifty indeed. Now, I have an oxygen source over here and I'm just gonna pop the coupler right there and you're gonna see a quick test, the oxygen source um, providing the analyzer with elevated oxygen levels. And as you could see, the numbers are going up. Let me pop in a bit more oxygen over there. They didn't move because I didn't put enough oxygen. Now you should start seeing the numbers quickly rising. Folks, quickly, quickly rising. And that's, I mean, you get a feel of the speed of detection. It's quite fast indeed. And it goes up all the way to 100% of oxygen. I hope you like it. Be well, be safe, and see you soon.